Hey everybody, look what I have today. It's the new AGM TS35384 Varmint Laser Range Finding Scope. Stick with me on this video and I'm going to tell you why I really like this scope. The last couple of years, AGM has really been uh, making uh, big inroads into the thermal rifle scope market. And this is a real winner. This year they brought us the new Varmint series laser range finding scope. Now you can get this in a 640 or a 384. Today we're going to be talking about the TS35384. It's a 384 by 288 thermal rifle scope with laser range finding capability. That's not all it's got. It's got some other new features. It has 18650 rechargeable batteries and it comes standard with an American Defense quick detachable mount. I've used it down on uh, two or three different hunts. You know, we went coyote hunting a few times. We also did a, a video where I was helping a guy get rid of some uh, beavers on his pond. It was doing a lot of damage to the dam. Everywhere I took the scope and everything I used it for, it really performed well. One of the best things about this scope, you know, it, it looks just like a rattler, but it has the laser range fanning module on top. And and the buttons have been moved around to the side. Now this may be a little problem for a, a left-handed. For right-handed shooters, this is about the best button layout that I've seen. You've got the you know the power and the standby button, the record and laser range finding button. And then back here you've got a knob that you press and turn to get into the menu to select the menu items, or you could just while you're hunting, you turn it and it moves the magnification, you know, up and down. It's really easy to use. It's really easy to set up. And this is a, a really great thermal scope. Now, the image is very, very good. This is much better than the last AGM uh, scope that I uh, tested. I really like the image. Uh, it's a little bit different than the Rattler series. So if you've seen a Rattler, you can expect this image to be better than the Rattler. And it's a 384 by 288, but with this 12 micron processor, you, you can start out on a base power of three, and you can bump it up, and you still have a good image. Of course, you've got all the features. You know, you've got the little rubber eye cup back here to protect it from the snow and, and keep the shine off your face. You've got the adjustable ocular lens in case you wear glasses or your, your sight's not quite as... Uh, as good as it used to be, like me. <laughs> uh, this particular one is a 35 millimeter objective lens. They do make one with a uh, 50 millimeter objective lens. One of the best improvements over the Rattler series, in addition to the 12 micron processor and, and a little bit better image, is that this uses 18650 rechargeable batteries. If you've used any type of compact rifle scope, a Rattler, uh, you know, a Hogster, any of those scopes, they all have 123 batteries. This one, this is great. This is an 18650 battery. It's rechargeable, and it'll give you about five or six hours of runtime. And there's two of them uh, that comes in the package with the scope. So we're talking about 10 to 12 hours of runtime, and it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, going through 123 batteries, you know, this battery will last about twice as long as a CR-123. And, you know, CR-123s are pretty expensive. So almost every time you go hunting, you're going to be saving yourself 10 bucks by just having this rechargeable battery. Just one drops right in there. You screw it down, and you're in business. I'll put up on the screen about showing you how the uh, laser rangefinder appears on the screen. But I wanted to show you this button in the center right here. When you use a laser rangefinder, all you have to do is just take the little box that appears on the screen, you put that on your target, and you range it by pushing this button. The range appears in a little uh, box up in the top right-hand corner. If you have the rangefinder set at continuous mode, then it will range for 15 seconds. So that gives you time if you have two coyotes coming in. You range one, move over, and see how far the second one is without having to range a second time. It really works great. If you have real soft target, like a gradual slope, it may not give you a reading every time, but every time I tried to take a reading on a coyote, uh, a hog, a cow, anything out there that's, you know, that's giving you an object that you, you can see, it'll give you a good range.
and it ranges out to 600 yards. And actually, this one ranges out to about 650 accurately. And, you know, for most hunting situations, that's all you need. I think when you take into account that this unit has a 12 micron processor, rechargeable 18650 batteries, a laser range finding function, and an American Defense quick detachable mount, all for under $3,300. I just don't know how you're going to beat it. Up until I used this laser range finder, I didn't think I really needed one. I had a, a very good uh, 640 resolution thermal rifle scope that I used all the time. And, you know, a 243 that, you know, that shoots flat up to the coyote out to 275 yards. I was, what do I need a range finder for? Well, after I used this one, I tell you, I really like that range finder. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to live without one now. It's so funny, you know, when you, you start into night hunting with thermal optics, you know, there's so much to learn. And you, and you, you change your mind about things. And I've changed my mind about the laser range finding function here. Whether I use this unit or some other unit, uh, could be a 640, could be a, a, a 384 unit, but I really like the laser range finder. The only drawback to this scope is it has a relatively uh, narrow field of view. It's 46 feet at 100 yards, but I was not hampered in the least when I hunted with this. If you have a scanner, you know he's going to have a you know, a big wide field of view, and you're scanning for everything. The only time you really pick the scope up is when you mean business. When you're ready for the shot, and you zero in on that uh, coyote out there, 46 feet is usually plenty of room to make the shot. Now, if you're shooting at hogs, and uh, they're all up close, like some people like to do, like to, you know, get within 50 yards, and, and then scan left and right as they're, as they're running after the first shot, this might be a little narrow, but for coyote hunters especially, I think it's spot on. If you're in the market for a thermal rifle scope, this is one you should consider, especially, you know, in the 384 series, because it's a very, very good price. Also in the 640 series. Now I'm gonna have a video coming in a week or so about the 640, so you can see the difference in the uh, image of the 640 varmint and the 384 varmint. So if you're, you know, going back and forth between which one of these you should buy, maybe I can help you out in a couple of weeks because I've got both of them. Jason was uh, good enough to let us uh, borrow two of these. And by the way, if you need any type of night vision or thermal hunting scope, call Jason Robinson at OutdoorLegacyGear.com. I'll put his phone number up here on the uh, screen so you can, uh, <laughs> you won't have to look it up. Uh, he's got these in stock. I think there's three or four different models. I think there's a 35 millimeter and a 50 millimeter in each of the uh, resolutions. And be careful about which one you choose because the field of view is a big deal when you get to four power. And this three power, 46 foot field of view is, is fine for most hunting, especially for coyotes. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I don't know if he's going to get this one back. <laughs> I may have to hang on to it. But Anyway, thanks for stopping by the old deer hunters, and uh, come back and check us out to see the videos of the 640 varmint. Thank you very much for watching.